workshop on how to do counterclaim? Do we need a workshop on finding the evidence to support those things? What is it that you guys need in order to be successful and be able to finish that assignment? Then today um, is the bottom paragraph chart. So I need to know if we need help with that or if we just haven't had enough time to get there yet. And then I know there are some people who need workshops for your book trailer. Um, so I know we've got some experts in here on Movie Maker and um, other types of technological skills. So what we need to know is from you guys, what do you need today in order to be successful on those two deliverables? Yep. Okay, so can you put up there, Juliet, that um, Deandra will run a premiere workshop for us if anybody needs that? How many people need help learning how to use Premiere? Or you've got questions about Premiere. Okay, so let's say about four or five. So we will definitely run that workshop and day will be in charge. All right, anybody else who either has a skill that they can run a workshop for us or a workshop that is needed? How many of you are interested in Deandra's uh, workshop on um, Adobe Premiere? So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, or so. Okay. Um, so what we're gonna do is um, it's not. I don't think, but I can check on three o four down the hall with them. If you want to meet us in the hallway, we'll try to find a, a room for that workshop. So follow Sprague right now with your computer, and Deandra will get a room so you guys can have that premiere workshop. The windows part right there, and. You guys just probably won't have it sitting right here. So you go to all programs, and then yeah, all programs, and then there will be Adobe Premiere Elements pin, and you click on that. Once everybody's there with me, tell me. I'm good. I'm down here. I'm at the welcome thing. Okay. And then you will click on new project. takes forever to load. Has anybody ever used Premiere or tried? No. Do we have to make Adobe ID Pro? Yeah. Is Pro down Pro. there? Yeah. Adobe ID. Yeah. You don't. You can just no. skip that part. Sweet. Okay. And then you'll get this screen where it says my project pop up. And you title it what you want it to call, be called. Wait, mine did. Let me say you. I'll go to skip. If you get the Adobe ID, hit skip. Then once you get here, you type in what you want your project name to be, you hit OK. And then this screen will pop up. So when you have that screen, say oh, word. 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 Mr. Dark. No! Oh my god. <laughs> um, all right, and then, like, okay, if you want to put a title slide in here, there's this, when you go to edit, if you click on edit, it says titles. It says titles. I wouldn't use those, they look really annoying and amateurish and kind of ugly, in my opinion. But I mean, if you wanted to use them, you can use them. But and don't. Yes, do not. <laughs> if you want yours to look like junky, then you can use it. Exactly. So you can go to this little T in the corner where my mouse is right now, click on it, and when you click on it, this pops up. And it's just a text box. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Also, if you want to add a title to your thing up at the top of the top bar next to this, it says title, you just click on that. And when you click on that, Hit new title and then default still, and you have a whole title thing that you want just like that. Okay, repeat. Okay, so you see the top toolbar up there? Yes. You see where it says this? 
Yes. Then title. Title. Then title. Then new title. Default still. Go up. New title. It's grayed out. Yeah. Because I already have one up. Delete that and try it. Delete what you have right now in the text and see what that looks like to add a title. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, the simpler way is just click on the T right there. And then we are going to name this video workshop video. Want to move it over? There's this thing right here that my um, little arrow is on, and it's called tool selection. You click on it, and you can move it over. You can stretch the box and all that. And then over here, do you have a question? Oh, wait, where you want to go? Like the color? Yeah. And over here, there is different size there's different coloring and different font sizes and you click on them and keep clicking and click and see find something you like and then if you ever get to here where it's black on black then you go over here to this color palette right here and it's called color properties you click on it and then you find a color that you like 